Good morning, everybody. Uh, the thought that I wanted to put out there was, who's using the mobile web today? If you look at it globally, Morgan Stanley puts the number of mobile internet users at 4 billion today and expects that the total number of mobile internet users in the country, across the globe, would overtake the total number of fixed line internet users by 2015. That is a staggering piece of stat. The, if you look at what's driving the mobile web growth, there are three interesting aspects, and I call it the three C's. The, the elements that have been driving the growth of the mobile internet are A, the handset, the, the handset quality. Today you can buy a, a great handset phone, a, a great handset at sub 10,000 rupee levels in India. Across the globe, you have fantastic handset quality and great uh, OS to support the, the kind of handsets that are out there in the market. Two, the kind of connectivity that, that exists today across the globe. In India, for example, uh, we have 3G launching in the country very soon. And, and the kind of experience that's going to be possible for mobile internet users is completely out of the world. Three, the kind of content out there. This could be both publisher-generated content as well as user-generated content. The kind of content that, that's being put out there is making it completely sticky. Consumers are now becoming more loyal on the mobile internet. <coughs> I wanted to put out some interesting pieces of stats. Uh, if you look at it globally, the kind of uh, explosive growth that iPad has seen um, across the globe, 200,000 iPads are sold every week across the globe. That is staggering. The App Store and the App Phenomenon. iTunes redefined the way apps were perceived. Over 3 million apps are downloaded every, every till, till date in the App Store, and every day the App Store growth rate is exploding. We all know about the phenomenon that social networking is and we all know the explosive growth that Facebook has had in the online world. But very few people actually realize that the kind of growth that they've had on the mobile space is also completely crazy. Over 200 million mo mobile subscribers globally uh, who use Facebook on a regular basis. And finally, Android, the phenomenon. Over a million Android activations at this point of time every four days globally. That is staggering. That's a game changer. The reason I speak about these, these aspects is, as a marketer, we need to start thinking about these game-changing market scenario, uh, which could then change the way we, we think about marketing strategies. It's true. The way the mobile internet is exploding, it could soon be bigger than the fixed line internet, and in the near future, bigger than TV. In fact, uh, the, the biggest, uh, my thought is, if you look at it today, there is two mass media. There is TV, which is one to many, and then there is mobile, which is one to one to many. It, can't we, can't we think about this as the new mass media today? I think this is a game changer at this point of time, and we're beginning to move towards the kind of one-to-one-to-many communication that's going to be possible on the mobile internet. Every marketer always dreamt about a medium that, where he could use, um, which he could use to market to his consumers and target him at any point of time, at the right point of time, in fact. The mobile phone seems to be the, the absolutely right medium uh, and, and could probably be a marketer's dream. So what's happening in India? Most people, when I, when I start talking about those global stats, say, hey, that's fine. Cut the bullshit. Tell us what's happening in India.
I heard a yeah, so that was pretty interesting. I, it, it's true, I've heard this so many times. I've heard this so many times because what is completely different, there are stark similarities in the way the mobile internet has exploded across the globe, and then stark dissimilarities in, in, in the Indian market as compared to the global market. There are, uh, there are 650 plus million mobile subscribers in the country. But 150 million mobile phone, mobile internet enabled phones in the market today. And about 30 million active mobile internet users and growing very, very aggressively. The, the interesting point is all the drivers of mobile internet that I spoke about earlier, the global drivers, are all actually beginning to explode even in India. The kind of handsets that are available today in the market, the kind of connectivity that's becoming available. I heard a story, and, and I, I, I think that's the most powerful story that I heard till date about um, connectivity in India. Somewhere last year, uh, uh, mid or end 2009 is when ASL, for example, put out uh, simple unlimited data packs at 99 rupee price points. Easy on the pocket, unlimited data usage. What I thought was a game changer and made every major telecom carrier in the country follow suit. So you had Airtel introducing mobile internet plans at 98 rupees, Vodafone introducing mobile internet plans at 98 rupees, Tata Docomo saying 49 rupees, and then Airtel coming back and saying 5 rupees for two days unlimited internet free. At that point of time, um, I heard a very powerful story about what's happening in India. And I thought that kind of defined what's happening in India in, in case of the mobile internet. A friend of mine I was talking to uh, said her servant's son had uh, walked up to her one day and uh, showed her a Samsung Corby phone. Samsung Corby, mind you. Uh, he got one of these unlimited data packs, the uh, one of the unlimited data packs for 99 rupees and gave to her and said, Didi mujhe ye isme dal ke do, mujhe isme dost banane hai. He wanted a social network, he wanted, so he wanted to engage in social networking on the mobile internet. That I think is a powerful story. The fact that this medium can actually reach the masses and connect the masses and do what probably broadband never did in India. 